Do you still believe today that you should never back down from a fight? I don't know, I believe we should choose our battles. Okay. You know, because I realize in life, and I know people probably um, not like what I'm going to say, I found out this in life, you know, sometimes we got to fight, you know. Even people that never had a street fight before, even a wimpy guy, sometimes we have to fight. Even if we know we're going to lose, we still have to fight. I don't know why. I, why can't you just say, hey, listen, you won, I don't want to do this. Right. But even though we got to lose, we know we're going to get the shit kicked out of us, but we got to fight this guy like we're going to kick his ass like we're a bully. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I never understood that whole dynamics of life. But it's absolutely you know, but true. But that's yeah. the way it is, yeah. you know? So describe first time going on stage versus first time going in the ring. After being in the boxing game for that longer period of time, yeah. I already experienced um, disappointments. I experienced grand uh, success on high levels and right. grand disappointments on really low naters, right? Mm -hmm. And. Um, so does in that order, make you not as scared? No, for... yeah, it doesn't because I, I know in order to um, don't need to, in order to be great, uh -huh. you know what I mean. You have to be prepared to fail greatly as well. Yes. You know what I mean. And it's all about how you handle the failures. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm I'm good at handling failures. Yeah. And I'm good at handling this. I don't know. I'm probably I'm not that good at handling success. I can handle failure better. I can handle success. <laughs> you know. Um, you believe in fate. I believe it's going to be the way it's going to be. It was, it was written. That's what I believe. It was okay. written. But did, can you influence what was written? Like, Excuse can you me? change what was, what is written, what's coming up? No, I can. You can just make it more, and um, it can be um, adversity. It can be more difficult. Uh -huh. But once you're conscious of the situation, it becomes more like to how you perceive yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? In certain circumstances, you know, like for instance. If I thought that I could be Mike Tyson, tough, strong, black kid from Brownsville, Brooklyn, I can go and beat these experienced fighters that's been world, been national and world champions since they were kids and stuff in the amateurs, and I can just go out here with my little 25 or 30 amateur fights and compete with these guys and become great in the heavyweight professional ranks too? No. I had to look at myself greater than I actually was and believe that I was greater than I actually was. He's somewhat of a, you know, a cantankerous warlord, a, a giant, a, bigger than any gladiator could ever imagine. I could take on Achilles the Alexander the Great. Mm -hmm. Being that person, I'm invincible. Right. But being Mike Tyson, tough guy from Brooklyn, no, I'm, I'm just a black guy that's going to get beat eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to know, how come you never like rock the whole fancy robe and like, you know? Yeah, yeah. It? My whole job was just to um, inflict pain in people's minds. I had a lot of the intimidation factor. Yeah. That's the biggest aspect of, of anything in life is intimidation. Because mm -hmm. once a person who's a great anything is intimidated, he can no longer perform under the high level that he's normally accustomed to working because he's intimidated and he's shut down. Yeah. And I'm the ma and listen, I'm the master of that. I put it out, I was going to be the most intimidating athlete in the history of the world of sports. Forget that. For, forget boxing the history of the world of sports, you know? Mm -hmm. And you have to be willing. Boxing and sports and everything in life is all about a bluff. It's almost like playing cards in life. I say more so than, um, I say more so than I say shooting dice, yeah. you know, because you could change dice and stuff, but they can't, they're hard, they can't mold. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You just gotta, if, you're, if you're just shooting, you shoot, cards could bend. Yeah. Cards could bend like life, Tricks, us yeah. in life, we can bend. Mm -hmm. And even though we got a bad hand, that don't mean we're gonna lose the fucking game. Right. You know what I mean? Because yeah. we're gonna stay in there, we're gonna hold it to the end. Uh -huh. And it's the same way in fighting yeah. and in life. Because we were born in swallows and the sewers and gutters, that don't mean we're gonna stay there if we have the desire and willpower, perseverance to be able to endure the pain. Yeah. We gotta endure that pain. Mm -hmm. You know, look at me, everybody likes me now. Yeah. I'm the last man standing. Everybody likes the last man. <laughs>